Guys, I am back. It is Friday night. The boys are playing video games. Boys, what games are you playing? I'm playing Fortnite. What are you playing, Ethan? I'm glad for Okay. They're playing their games. We're having boys' night. We're taking a little break from uh, Red vs. Blue in the background <clears throat> so that we can do Tack Pack for December 2021. Tack Pack, a very a very shooter's central box. So know that before we go into it. This box brought to us by Kevin Fire Guy in the chat on the live stream. Awesome dude. Also made me those really awesome, um, <clears throat> I forgot what he called them, something tiles. But those service tiles, uh, that wooden plaque. Awesome guy, came all the way down to visit in the shop one day. Super cool dude. So, still digging and loving this XM24 remodel, by the way. So, this is the Tack Pack Plus. This is the, the Tack Pack, <clears throat> and then an extra bonus item or two. More expensive box. It's supposed to be a bigger, better value. So, we are going to see what we've got in here. Now, <clears throat> they really like to focus on Glocks and AR-15s a lot. So, uh, and I'm seeing some, you know, AR stuff. Some, these look like um, <clears throat> the takedown pins. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, some other stuff we'll see. Oh, this, what is this? A whole cleaning mat and everything? All right. So we're going to see everything that we've got in this month's box. And we're going to go down the list of everything that we have here. Um, we're going to start with the Aeronox M-Lock foregrip for $60. Is that this? This thing? $60? Bucks? What? Okay. Um, now, M-Lock, I, you know... I don't have anything that uses traditional M-Lock. I have, weird. Um, it's little, it's a little tiny foregrip. I have, um, trying to think, trying to think. I have a Magpul <clears throat> handguard on it and, and they they use Magpul stuff. You gotta get Magpul kind of things. So M-Lock, for those who don't know who are interested, there's there's three main ways to to affix stuff uh, to to your rifle. You've got the standard pick rails, which we're most mostly familiar with. I actually have an example here. Looks kind of like that. You've got M lock, which is a series of kind of ovals that you basically um, this little little nut or foot goes on the inside, and then you. <clears throat> Uh, secure the gear through it there and then there's key mod which is a, a third system which also uh m lock and key mod are are good because you can have a very lightweight kind of setup because th the things look very skeletonized the the um <clears throat> the the handguards are very skeletonized um very lightweight now this is i mean this is an incredibly tiny foregrip this is i mean you're you're holding on to just a little little thing now i can i can tell it is it is anodized aluminum and i guess you can mount it either way um i'll just use this 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 thing as an example like so facing forward or like so whatever is comfortable for you um <clears throat> 60 dollars though that's that's really that's something i mean and you know technically a foregrip you, you just need enough to get a hold of it um, I like to use my foregrip kind of like one finger on the handguard and and because I have a small foregrip <clears throat> but um, some people like a whole handle that you can hold on to I don't know sixty dollars seems like a lot of money for this um, it weighs 0.9 ounces I don't know um, now you know on on <clears throat> key mod and M-Lock, you can also, by the way, get little strips of rail that you can put on to use other accessories, too. Bless you, Ethan. Um, but this is just kind of like, I think it's a whole lot. 61, 6061 aluminum. But, you know, it's machined from one billet, which is cool. 
but I don't know. I don't know. So there you go. All right, so the next thing on the list for $35 is Aeronox Field Pins. That's what I was looking at before. <clears throat> so these are what hold your AR-15 together, and I can show you in this picture right here. Uh, there's a pin there and there, and um, they basically hold your upper and lower receivers together. And <clears throat> this one right here um, comes out just for you open it up and clean it. And you can completely remove the um, the whole upper from the lower by taking the forward one out. Now, why is this better? I I don't I don't know. Um, <clears throat> I have no idea why you would replace with these. Um, let's see if the card gives us any special information as to as to why they're better. Ah, they're designed to use the rim of your cartridge to easily pull if need be. I get it. <clears throat> because sometimes these these pins can be kind of a, a little bit of a bitch to get out. I have used um, bullets I did to push um, the pin out a little bit so you can really grab it and, and get it out. I've used, uh, <clears throat> they, they in cleaning kits, they have rods you can use to push. Sometimes, sometimes it is a little hard because they're... Um, to, to push them out, but so they have these little can you see I don't know I guess I got to open it and show you They have these little grooves That you can use the rim of the round to pull which gives you a little bit more leverage But other than that, I think they're essentially the same <clears throat> and We Meaning you know when I was in uniform and everything we used to just use the tip of a bullet to push them out <clears throat> or whatever whatever other tools we had in a cleaning kit or whatever. I don't I don't know if you need to spend $35 on extra pins. I don't know. I don't know. But okay. So there's those. Next we've got the BAD trigger guard. Um, this is something I like. So I don't have this battle arms. I don't have this specific one on my rifle, but I'm going to have to um, do this so I can show you. So on an AR-15, the trigger guard is usually a flat piece of aluminum that just goes across. These extended trigger guards are great because they make a lot of room if you're wearing gloves. And so they, they fit in, <clears throat> and I can show you on here again. Is there another picture of an AR-15? They fit in right there. They replace that straight piece with a a rounded, extended area. Um, and you know what? If you're if it, if you're in the winter or you're wearing big gloves, these really do make a nice difference. Um, and I like this. And this one is only fifteen dollars. I like it. Is this this is rubber? What? I am looking at, no, I'm sorry, this is 25. I was looking at the gloves, I'm sorry. Uh, so this is only 20, this is $25. Um, it's aluminum, it's lightweight. This is really light, you know, it's got the holes in it. Um, just like mine, it's secured with uh, three screws. Um, these, I, I I believe they're they're worth it. I. I like the look of them, to tell you the truth. I think they look good. Um, sets you apart a little bit. And no, but they really do add a comfort factor when you're wearing, like, you know, if, you, if, you're, if you're shooting in a wintry area and you've got some nice warm gloves on, they will definitely make it easier for you to get your finger in that trigger guard. So this is good to have. I like this. And this is uh, probably the second or third time they've given us um, wider, bigger uh, trigger guard in one of these boxes. <clears throat> okay, cool. Next, we've got the Mechanics Fast Fit Black Gloves for $15. Okay. 100% cotton and form-fitting dry tech material. Keeps hands cool and comfortable. Flexible thermal plastic rubber elastic cuff. Um, <clears throat> I've never worn these. I don't know how good or not good they are. I mean, you know, like I, I don't I don't know. 
Oh, I just stick my hand in there. Eh. They're gloves. Okay. They're thin. They don't add much grip. You've got good finger dexterity. Um, but I feel like I have better gloves for for doing stuff. I mean, yeah, I feel like they would protect your hands, but from basic cuts and scrapes, just but I mean, they're not like cut proof or anything. They're 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 comfortable. Um what are they supposed to do? Touch screen capable, so that's nice. I don't know. Yeah. They're gloves. <clears throat> like I said, I have better ones. You know, for on the same price that I've that I've gotten. So super easy free subscription, fifteen dollars. Um, uh, so I guess this is um, <clears throat> this is that card we're looking at, and it has a free subscription for six months with all the information that they that they do. So. I have no idea. Delivered via Telegram and Signal apps, neither of which I use. But this isn't for me. This is for, uh, I don't know. And then there's a $2.99 a month charge, I guess, after that, if you don't cancel. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not, I mean, I'm not wowed by this box, to be honest with you. So far, there's one item that I would really seriously use, and it's this. Um, Nutcracker sticker. Okay, that's a cool sticker. It's a free sticker. They give it to you for free. They always give you a free sticker. That's that's cool. <clears throat> and then the Battle Arms development sticker. Nice. Um, and now <clears throat> there are uh, two items in the plus. So this is what the, the extra expense is for. So first we've got the AR Toolkit from Fix-It Sticks. This is a $100 item. And I think this is the, this is the, the why this is not in here, I don't know, but we're gonna have to open this up and take a look. It's a problem with small blades, you don't always Get them where you need them to be. Okay, so fix it sticks AR15 toolkit. <clears throat> I have heard of this. I have never seen this, but wow, that's a lot of that's a lot of tools. So basically, it looks like, to be honest, like half cleaning kit, um, and then tools. I want to see the stick. Where's the the fix it? Where's the stick? Ah, there's the stick. Okay, and this has attachments for molly type gear. <clears throat> this can come out, this tool holder. But it has all sorts of um, quarter inch bits that you can use in other stuff. <clears throat> so you got two of these fix-it sticks, these sticks right here. And so I guess everything here is, yeah, mountable in one of the sticks. And then there is a uh, 8 30 seconds bit adapter. Is that this guy here? But no, ah, there we go. It's It's got this thing on there. Here's the 8 30 seconds, so. Other items <clears throat> that can go. You have a, some of these things are packed in so tightly. Tell me this has front and rear. No. Well, you got a front sight adjustment tool, which is good. So adjusting sights is a pain in the ass. You've got punches, you've got scrapers, you've got a cleaning brush, you've got a couple uh, rods that can connect together. So, I mean, I, I could see how this could be interesting. And then, you know, this is the, the matrix for how you, how you put everything in here. Um, 
so it does a lot of cleaning. It does a lot of maintenance. I would be willing to try one of these out. This, this would be something, something pretty cool. Um, I've never really seen anybody use a castle nut wrench in the field. It's good to have. I've never seen anybody use one. Um, I just, I think it's cool that it comes with it. I just want to put every, I want to, guys, hang on. I want to put everything back together correctly. It does have, you know, some good, looks like good quality bits and everything like that. So that's really interesting. I like that. That's cool. Um, and then, you know, it's got other instructions on there for you. So yeah, I like that item. That's a cool looking item. That's, you know, looks like the first plus item is, is pretty good. Next, the Real Avid Smart Mat for $25. So 125 is the whole grand total of the um, plus items. Oops. And then I went and smacked the camera with it. So let's see. Uh, now I'm not gonna get this all, but so it's not just a mat. Is this magnetic? Oh, I thought that'd be magnetic. That'd be useful. So you've got some little trays for parts, screws, um, <clears throat> pins. Uh, I shouldn't say screws. Well, I mean, you know, depending on what you're working on, this is not only for an Air 15, but bolt carrier group takedown. It, it, <laughs> If you've been to basic, you have this memorized. Um, as we go, this is a very early style M4. Anybody remember the XM177? Probably not. Um, safety first. That's nice. It's a nice mat. Rubber backing. Are they, oh, and this is the order. Open the, pull the pin, charging handle. You pull the charging handle out and eventually the, the bolt carrier comes out and take the charging handle with it and then take down, yeah. And then here, oh, here are the steps <clears throat> to follow. If you need this though, to dis, I, I'm just saying, this is very basic stuff. Once again, if you have any training on this, on this firearm, this is memorized. You, you don't need this. But it's a it's a nice like it's a it's a might not necessarily be whole rifle size, but it's at least carbine sized mat, you know, to use. Um, it just happens again. It happens to have Air 15 on. You can use it for, obviously for whatever you want. Um, but that's pretty cool. I like it. It's a nice mat, and I especially like that they affixed the um, the trays at the end, you know, for you to put little stuff in. And I get this one is magnetic on the end. Yeah. Yeah. Very lightly the magnetic, but so there's one on the end here that has a, that one's got magnets in it, I guess. Seems to be stronger on the reverse side than the top. But. So that's the box. Well, it's December. I gotta be, you know, I gotta be honest. I, uh, this is not a big thrilling box for me. Uh, number one, uh, I'm not an M-Lock guy, but number two, $60 for this little foregrip. Foregrip, I don't know. The pins, I have no, I don't, I don't really see any reason to have to replace the ones I already have in. This I might use, but the rest, I mean, and then, and then, you know, it, if you get the plus box, if, if, if the regular box is all you get, great. The plus box, this I think looks like a cool kit. You know, I, I if I got it, if it was mine, I might mess with it. And this mat is nice. But if you got just the regular box this month, meh, meh, you know, just, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. Um, if anybody's used this kit and has some firsthand knowledge, I'd love to hear from you. If you like it, if it's worth the money, um, what you think of it? Um, you know, what do you use in addition to this kit? Uh, what other stuff do you need to add to it to have a full, you know, AR-15 kit out in the field? Um, but or, you know, maybe maybe I'm misjudging this. Anybody use this and really like it? Or anybody use this and hate it? I don't, I don't know. But anyway, there we go, guys. So big shout out to Kevin again. Thanks. Um, uh, Kevin, I hope you're excited by this stuff. I, uh, Kevin is really into his builds. Um, and he, living in New Jersey, has some very ridiculous and specific requirements that he has to follow. Because New Jersey. But... Um, <clears throat> Hopefully he'll move into a more civilized state one day. Um, where anyway, freedom.
Um, but yeah, I hope Kevin, you're you're kind of excited to get this stuff in your hands. Um, but that's it. So please, your your comments, guys. Is this is this box? I got. Uh, I don't know how to say. It. Is this as as much of kind of a letdown to you guys as it is to me, or or what do you think? Am I am I just being you know a, the Grinchy Grinch with with my opinion of this stuff? What do you think? Let's discuss. So. <sighs> Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Our season's greetings and all that other stuff as we approach that time of year. And remember that you guys are all absolutely awesome. I appreciate every single one of you. And I'll be back again real soon.